This is a DSDNA having a single stranded gap. During the nucleation step, the first rec A protein binds to the single stranded DNA in the gap. After the nucleation step, the extension step comes. During the extension step, the rec A proteins bind to the single stranded DNA in the gap cooperatively and extend the filaments in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. After extension, disassembly step comes. During the disassembly step, the ATP binds to the rec A protein. The bound ATP undergoes hydrolysis to produce ADP and PI. The ADP, PI and rec A protein are then released from the single stranded DNA. This process is repeated for several times like this. As shown here, the disassembly proceeds in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction from the end opposite to that where extension occurs. These are the SSB protein bound to a single stranded DNA. SSB stands for single stranded DNA binding protein. The proteins like REC F, REC O, REC R are collectively called as REC4. These are the REC A proteins. The REC A filament assembly is assisted by REC4. REC X protein inhibits further binding of any REC A protein to the single stranded DNA. In other words, the REC X protein inhibits REC A filament extension. But after a successful rec A filament extension, the filament over the single stranded DNA will look like this. The DNI protein prevents the disassembly of rec A protein from the filament. So we can say that DNI protein stabilizes the rec A filaments on the single stranded DNA. Please like. Subscribe and share.